So today we're going to learn how to do an S-Bend to blind. An S-Bend to blind is a Rayleigh with a front rotation, which is the S-Bend component of the trick. And after we've completed the S-Bend, we're going to do a backside 180, landing blind. So the first part of an S-Bend to blind is the exact same as a basic S-Bend. We're going to bear off downwind and unhook, set our progressive edge, load into a Rayleigh, and to initiate the front rotation, you want to look over your back shoulder. And as we're coming around about three quarters of the way around, we're still going to spot our landing, but we're going to pull into our front hip, which will start to initiate the backside 180 rotation into blind. As you're pulling into the front hip, you release your back hand and twist your arm into the small of your back. So when you're landing, it's in a nice easy position to pass the bar. Hook back in and ride away. So a few common mistakes with the S-Bend to blind. The kite looping on landing is a very common mistake that people make with all tricks landing blind. To help this, one thing you can do is with any handle pass trick, you want to put your index finger of the hand that you are passing with over the centre line. This will give you a lot more control on both sides of the bar. If you've got your hand completely on one side of the bar, the kite will want to turn down or even loop into the, whichever side you've got your hand on the bar. So to fix this, put your index finger over the centre line. That will keep the kite a lot more stable in the air when you've only got one hand on the bar. Another common mistake is when you're landing, not landing downwind enough. This will have a lot of tension on the kite and it'll either pull you into a back edge or it'll tension the kite and turn it whichever way you've got your hand on. And when the kite loops, then it'll pull you off your edge or you won't be able to pass the bar and make the landing. Another common mistake with an s to blind is once people have finished the S-Bend, they hesitate when they're going to blind. So you really want to make this one fluid movement from the S-Bend all the way to landing blind. You don't want to stop your momentum. You want to use that front momentum into the blind landing. So it's all one smooth movement. So it's important when we're coming round into blind to really twist your arm into the small of your back this will help keep the bar nice and close, so when you land, the bar's right here, easy for you to pass. If you pull into your hip and you don't rotate your arm down, you're gonna start to rotate and your shoulder won't actually allow the bar to get anywhere near and you won't be able to rotate backside 180. So make sure you twist the bar down and that'll let you get all the way around, nice and balanced, not leaning too far forward, not leaning too far back. As soon as you feel controlled on the landing, pass the bar, you'll be toe side, you can hook back in and ride away.